I'm Jocelyn, physical therapist, and in this video, I'm going to introduce to you the positions used in my postpartum rehab program. A few things that might be handy to have uh, while watching this is a pillow, a towel roll, and a uh, mirror, or you'll use it after. Uh, before I talk about the positions, let's first go over posture. Now, this posture is going to carry through each of the positions. The posture is neutral spine posture. How do you find that? Well, I'm gonna show you from the side. Neutral spine posture is a, uh, the ideal, your, it's essentially your set position before you move in any of the exercises you're gonna do in this program. To find it, you're gonna take your hands and put the heel of your hand at the top of your pelvic bone here, and then your fingertips these fingertips on your pubic bone. That's the thick bone in, the, in between your thighs. So things I like to do is arch, I'm gonna have you arch your back. Notice the arch in my lower back increases. My fingers are behind my, the heel of my hand. And then I'm gonna round. So notice now my fingers are in front of the heel of my hand. And I'm gonna do that a couple times. Everyone's a little bit different, but this is about my neutral posture. So in this position, I'm gonna check that my hip is in front of my ankle. So I'm gonna shift a little bit forward, and then I'm gonna make sure now my chest isn't overly lifted like that. Now when I lift my chest up, my back arches. So sometimes all you gotta do is just arch your back, uh, arch and round your back by neutral. Other times you might have to move your shoulders a little bit. And the, the ankle shift helps as well. So this is about my neutral posture. Now this is the position that I'm gonna aim to get into all of the positions included in this program. Let's go over those positions now. First position is going to be in standing. So this is my neutral posture, I think. Um, this will be the standing position. Now I'm gonna talk about a little bit in another video about bracing, but once you find your neutral posture, that's when you establish the gentle, the deep core brace, okay? Next position is going to be a split stance position. So split stance from the front, shoulders are hip width apart, one leg's in front. When you do this, you'll do it on both sides. So left leg will be in front and then you'll alternate. Your front knee is going to be soft, so not locked out and you're gonna be, your back leg is going to be relatively straight and you're gonna be on the balls of your feet. So I don't know if this video is going to show it, but uh, you should feel your calf in a little bit of your glute on the back leg eventually after practicing. So from this side, this is my split stance position. Now in this split stance position, make sure your back is not arching you're still maintaining that neutral position, okay? And you're not here. Third position, single leg balance. So a couple variations of the single leg balance is, so neutral position, you lift your opposite leg up. As you lift, make sure you're not going backwards. So you're just staying still. You don't have to lift your hip up that high. You can lift it a little bit, you can just lift it this much. Um, from this side, so, here, I can lift it like that, okay? Making sure I maintain that, maintain my neutral posture. If you need to, you can hold on to something. That's gonna help you maintain your balance and not let your hips um, come, so we want level, so uh, if holding on helps you keep level, that's fine. Next position I'm gonna review will be sitting couple of options in sitting. Uh, it's sitting with your feet hanging or sitting with your feet supported by something. I didn't have anything, so I'm just gonna demonstrate this way. Same deal. What you can do is you can arch and round your back, find your neutral posture, make sure you're not sitting back like this, but your shoulders are rolled forward. You should be sitting right on your sit bones. And then making sure that if you feel like your ha legs hanging makes your arch, get, uh, support your legs. Next position is 
side lying. In side lying, I'm just going to demonstrate one of the sides. Your knees and hips are bent slightly. Now it's really easy for me to, I tend to round, so I have to find neutral posture again in this position. And because I'm not checking my pelvic bones and my pubic bone, I'm going to think about that arch that I felt when I felt it in standing. So this is my position. What the tendency is for people to be rolled back like this, making sure your shoulders are, are where my top, top shoulder is directly over my bottom shoulder. Next position will be hands and knees position. And by the way, these are in no particular order. Hands and knees position, my, I'm gonna round and arch. Check to see, I feel like I'm pretty level. Now my shoulders are directly over my wrists here. And then I'm gonna arch my upper back and try to find an ideal position there. Okay, so this is hands and knees or quadruped. Now the wide, wide knee frog position is this position, and this you'll see later in one of the weeks where you're breathing in this position. So knees are wider than shoulders here, whereas the previous position, knees were underneath your shoulder. And my back still stays in the same arched position, not any more, not any less. If, it's, if you feel like it's rounding, then you might have gone too far that your, than your hips will allow at this time. If you feel like it arched any more, try to get out of that position. Next position is uh, laying uh, prone or lay, lying face down. I'll take my glasses off here. This is where you'll need your towel roll. Now, you can use a pillow or you don't have to. The, if you have a really arched back, then I would say the pillow would be useful. I'll demonstrate both. If you don't, then you may not need the pillow. It's gonna depend on what your back feels like in that position. So if you have the pillow, it's gonna go about here, horizontally. My, my forehead is going to be on the rolled towel. And I can have my hands a couple of ways. It just depends on what we're doing. So my hands could be here, or they can be here. Without the pillow, this position. Okay, next position. Lying face up or supine position, lying supine. Paying attention to your rib cage is going to be key in this position. So what I see often in, in women is that their chests are open like this and the ribs kind of flare. So what that looks like is like this position. If when you lay on your back, you're here, I want you to get the pillow, get it underneath your shoulders a bit, and get into more of this position. So shoulder, hip, um, are more aligned versus the shoulder being lower than this point of your body. Now for me, if I can't keep my chin tucked and keep my back in neutral, then I would change my position with the pillow as well. But same thing goes, find your, your, neutral, uh, your neutral back position. This is often hard, early postpartum, but give that a shot anyways. See if these little changes make a difference in your alignment. If you feel like your shoulders are here and your elbows are behind your body, you might need to rest. You might need to rest your hands like this. Okay, so those are your options. Now that you've watched the video, uh, go ahead and give that a shot. Check your posture, use your mirror, have someone take a picture of you from the front and from the side to see what you look like. Um, and then play around with the pillow, play around with the towel roll. That might be a little thick. Uh, that was a little thick for me. Um, if you're not sure, take a picture, send it to me. Uh,
feel free to comment and let me know, like the video if you thought this was helpful. Thank you.